What's up, you freaking genius dads? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to compare functions using average rates of change, all right? So let's go over this word problem right here. So it says two social media websites open their memberships to the public. So I have the information for website A over here and the info in this graph for website B over here. Okay, so part A says, compare the websites by calculating and interpreting the average rates of change from day 10 to day 20, all right? So let's start there. So we're gonna calculate the average rates of change for each one, for website A and B, from day 10 to day 20, okay? So let's start with website A over here. And the average rate of change formula is right here, so it's just equal to F of B minus F of A all over B minus A, all right? So uh, these two values up here are basically your Y values, and then down here, these are your X values. Okay, so let's start with website A. So we're gonna calculate the average rate of change so it's gonna be equal to f of b minus f of a. So uh, here we wanna know, uh, well, the problem asks to calculate the rates of change from day 10 to day 20, right? So we're going from day 10 to day 20. So those are our x values, right? So uh, 20 would be b and then 10 would be a. So then f of b would be 2150 and f of a would be 1400, okay? So then here the average rate of change is equal to and then we can fill in this formula just to clarify a little bit. So the average rate of change is equal to f of 20 minus f of 10, all over 20 minus 10, okay? And then this is gonna be equal to, so f of 20, so what's our y value at day 20? Well, f of 20 right here is 2150, right? So 2150 minus f of 10, so what's our y value on the 10th day, right? So this one right here, 1400. Okay, 1400 all over 20 minus 10 is 10. Okay, so then 2150 minus 1400, that's equal to 750 and that's over 10. Okay, and just to clarify our units, what are our units for our Y values? Well, for our Y values, it's members, right? So we have 750 members. And then on the bottom, our X values are days, right? So members per day. So 750 divided by 10, that's equal to 75, right? So then this is just equal to 75 members, members per day, okay? That's the average rate of change for website A, okay? So this means that from day 10 to day 20, the website is growing 75 members per day, okay? So now let's figure out what it is for website B over here. So the average rate of change for website B is gonna be equal to, again, F of B minus F of A all over B minus A, okay? But it's gonna be the exact same thing as it was over here. So we wanna know what our Y value is at F of, or the 20th day, right? So F of 20, because we're interested in day 20 minus the starting point, day 10, all over 20 minus 10, okay? So what is our Y value at day 20 and day 10 for website B? Well, for day 20, uh, day 20 is right here. Looks like our Y value, it's pretty close to 1800, maybe just a little under 1800. We're gonna approximate round though. We'll just say 1800, make it a little easier. So we're gonna say this is equal to approximately 1800. And what's our Y value on the 10th day? Well, the 10th day is right here. So the Y value is about right here. So this line right here is, 900, right, but it's a little lower. It's like down here. We'll round to 850, okay? So we'll say about 850, okay? And then again, that's gonna be 20 minus 10, right? B minus A, 20 minus 10. So then this is gonna be equal to 1800 minus 850 is equal to 950 over 20 minus 10 is 10. So then remember this is members and days on the bottom, so then 950 divided by 10 is equal to 95, right? So 95 members per day. Okay, so website A is growing at 75 members per day from day 10 to day 20, and website B is growing at 95 members per day from day 10 to day 20, right? So in this specific range from day 10 to day 20, website B is growing faster, okay? Now, what does part B say? So it says predict which website will have more members after 50 days, explain. Okay, so let's start with website A over here. Okay, so first of all, it doesn't go all the way to day 50, right? It only goes to day 25, but something you might notice with 
uh, the members, how it's increasing is that it's constant, okay? So to get from 650 to 1,025, you add 375. To get from 1,025 to 1,400, you again add 375. To get from 1,400 to 1,775, you add 375. And then it's just same thing over and over, right? 1,775 to here, you just keep adding 375 over, okay? So website A is growing at a constant rate, right? It's predictable basically, because every five days it's growing by the exact same amount, 375 members. Okay, so if you imagined that on a graph, that would be a linear graph, right? It would be a straight line. It would just be growing constantly like that, right? Because it's always 375 people, okay? So the latest data that we have is day 25. So we could say that day 25 Let's say uh, day 25 is like right here. And then um, our, how many members do we have at day 25 for website A? Uh, about 2,500, right? 25, 25. So we'll just say that, uh, let's see, let's say this is about 2,500. Okay, so for website A at day 25, it's at about 2,500, right? So we're about here. So we could even predict about where we would be, right? So from day basically zero right here to day 25, we grew 2,500 people. So to get from 25 to 50, which would just be another 25 days, this would basically double to 5,000, right? And these are just approximations, okay? So that's how you can kind of tell how website A is growing. Now, if you look at website B over here, you can see that the graph over here is not linear but it's exponential. So exponential just means it basically starts off slowly, but then the slope gets steeper, 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 right? And then it's just gonna grow really fast towards the end, right? So for website B right now, it, it only goes to 25 days, right? Just like website A, right? This is 25 days. And then that's basically where the graph ends. So what is this number right here? Well, this is, well, it's going every 300, right? So this is 2,100. So this is 2,400. Okay, so it's a little less than our 2,500 over here, right? So for website uh, B, at 25 days, it's at 2,400, right? So 2,400 would be, you know, about there-ish, right? On day 25, we're at 2,400 for website B. And also, website B started at 600, right, at day zero. So we could even say that this is like 600 right there. Okay, but the main thing you want to get from this is that this graph right here for website B, it's not growing linearly, right? It's growing at a much faster rate than a linear graph, right? It's growing exponentially. So here, even though we started at 600 and we're currently at about 2400, you could see that since it's growing at a faster rate, by the time we get to day 50, website B would actually have more members, right? This is website B and this is A, okay? And uh, one little clarification I wanna make on this graph right here is for this linear one, this was supposed to represent website A, but really I should have started it up here, right? Because at day zero, we have 650 members, but I put at day zero, we have zero members. So I should have drawn it kind of more like that, okay? But still, everything still holds true. Website B is still growing a lot faster because it's growing exponentially and website A is just growing linearly. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.